back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jemi Naftali and this channel is all about the kids welfare, medical problems and we also try to find solution. So I welcome you to this episode and we are continuing on treatment of malaria in children. Uh, a very very common uh, illness. Everybody knows about malaria and in our last episode we did, uh, we were treating the uh, severe malaria Remember the complicated malaria, this one that is going to bring us problems, very, very severe thing. So we did, uh, we started by treating using the first line drug and we said it was atesunate. So if you haven't watched, please uh, uh, go to the previous episode, please go and check on atesunate. So today we are treating severe malaria with our second line drug. So we said if you do not have atesunate, what do we go for? And what we go for is quinine. I know quinine is not uh, so new to people. So quinine is our second line uh, drug in treatment of severe malaria in children. So how do we give it? The dosage is 20 milligrams per kg. Remember in all cases in treatment of uh, these babies, these children, we want to give a uh, per kg of the child. So we give 20 milligrams per kg and this is a loading dose. This is a loading dose. A loading dose is that dose that we start immediately the child is taken to hospital. So we do 20 milligrams per kg and this we are going to give with the, an IV infusion uh, and we give over two to four hours. Please note that two to four hours we don't give uh, so fast, we give over two to four hours. Then after eight hours of the loading dose, we want to introduce something uh, we call uh, the maintenance dose. So the maintenance dose is what now we continue. After giving 20 milligrams of kg, uh, milligrams per kg over the first eight hours, we introduce the maintenance, which is the half of the loading dose, which is now 10 milligrams per kg of quinine. So we do this over two hours and then we repeat every eight hours this maintenance dose and this is until the child is able to take orally. So from here now we switch to oral medication which we are going to see later. So this is how we give quinine, the loading dose and now the maintenance dose. Uh, maybe a point to note, a point to note is that infusion rate, infusion rate uh, should not exceed five milligrams per kg per hour. So this is just a point to note. We do not want to overload these babies because we are going to see the side effect again of doing all this. So an NB again, loading dose of quinine should never be given as a bolus injection. A bolus is that that we give, give, give so fast so we are saying we are giving uh, over two to four hours. We want to give so slowly. And another thing is that uh, we give uh, with 5% dextrose. 5% dextrose we give together. And the reason is because the very, very dangerous and common side effect of quinine is that it causes hypoglycemia. Remember our topic on hypoglycemia, the low blood sugar levels. So if you haven't again watched that, I refer you to that. So quinine causes hypoglycemia and this explains why we give quinine together with 5% dextrose. We want again to cater for the side effect of this quinine by giving together with 5% uh, dextrose. I hope again this is clear. Um, if IV quinine is not available, remember our best is through the vein, the intravenous, we can give, uh, if it's not available, we can give um, we can give uh, IM. IM is through the muscle, either here. Uh, mostly to children, we give to on the thighs or, or also behind. So if you don't have the IV quinine, we can do the IM, but you don't give the same as we do IV. For the IM, we have to dilute it. We have to dilute it. And also we give in divided dosages. So this is why there's some difference uh, while giving IV and also while giving IM. So studies show that a uh, loading dose of quinine reduces fever 
and also the parasitic clearance time. So this is the importance of giving the loading dose, the very first dose we are giving at 20 milligrams per kg. It reduces the fever and also the, it reduces the parasitic clearance time. So uh, when we give quinine a uh, loading dose, uh, the drug rapidly, it rapidly increases levels required uh, uh, required to kill parasites and remains high at uh, as time progresses. So we are saying giving loading dose is very, very important. So we are saying it increases the levels required to kill these uh, malaria parasites. So if we do not give loading dose, what happens if we don't give in the loading dose of quinine? So there is increased duration of time before the blood levels required to kill uh, the malaria parasites are reached. So we delay the time. So it takes a long time, a very long time before that drug level that is required by the body to kill these parasites, uh, the malaria parasites can be reached. So we delay and this causes and gives us problem. We want to clear these parasites as fast as possible. So we don't go, that's why we don't go direct to giving maintenance. So we start by the loading dose. So this is a very, the importance of starting with the, uh, the loading dose. I hope this is very, very clear. So failure again to give the loading dose. Uh, this is how now the resistance develops. So you find that you're giving the right dosages and but you did give loading dose so what happens uh we give we get resistance and the drugs do not work you find the baby still have fevers even after giving the whatever we are giving uh so because the drug has it, it uh, we have gotten resistance the resistance develops so this is the very very important importance of giving uh the loading dose um so then uh, in in a nutshell in if i can conclude this uh, i'll say that appropriate drug the appropriate if the appropriate drug is administered in the correct dosages uh will rapidly kills kill uh the malaria parasites and this clears them uh it clears them all from the body so if we give the right dosages we start by the loading dose the right dosages and we also give the maintain and we are saying we do not exceed five milligrams per kg per hour if we give the right dosages correctly then all the parasites are cleared from the body so this is our second line drug in treatment of severe malaria so this is if this is about quinine and this is if we do not have the first line which is a test unit so this is it my people now we are done with treating the severe malaria i hope you you are together with me so thank you so much for listening thank you so much for those who have subscribed i appreciate you thank you so much for the support if you haven't subscribed yet please please hit on the subscribe button the red one please subscribe uh share these videos widely so that many people can reach them we want to include all people especially the mothers the caregivers in treatment of these babies so we want them to have the knowledge and the know-how we are creating the awareness on these common illnesses affecting these children how the treatment is all about at least they don't uh, they are not blank on what really happens so share them widely so that many people can reach them also comment down on the comment section please uh, uh comment down and tell me what you would love as uh, any question about malaria and also what topic you would also love uh we tackle together what you think uh you really want us uh, to discuss here please write it on the comment section and again leave on your notification turn them on so that uh, you're among the first person to know every time uh, i post a new video thank you so much my people until next time 